There may not be a use in crying over spilled milk, but you have no idea the debate's taking place right now over raw milk. It's one of those professions where there aren't a lot of vacation days. Weekends really are no different than weekdays. Susan Young's work starts early and ends late, even later now that her small little farm has got a new product on the market. This summer, her home state, Iowa, joined more than 30 others that allow producers to now sell consumers dairy products, including milk, unpasteurized. That's raw milk. That provides a whole new income stream for our farm. Let's go back to middle school for a quick refresher on pasteurization. It's a centuries-old process that heats up milk to kill off bacteria like salmonella, listeria, or E. coli, then cools it back down. The warming of attitudes toward raw, unpasteurized milk appears to be fueled by a post-COVID trend of seeking out more natural products, as well as TikTokers urging consumers to choose raw. Let's Let's discuss the fact that the FDA says this is dangerous. Raw milk activists like Sally Fallon Morell say raw milk has more nutrients. Raw milk is nature's perfect food and we have the technology today to produce a very safe raw milk and get it to every child who needs it in this country. Okay, instant fact check. Yes, food safety in America has come a long way in the last 120 years, and the risk of consuming raw milk is low, especially for the average American. But for young children, seniors, or pregnant women, those risks are higher and potentially deadly. So the raw milk debate comes down to do the benefits outweigh the risks, and most epidemiologists, researchers, and pediatricians agree that there just aren't really any benefits at all to drinking raw, unpasteurized milk. So no, they say, the risk aren't worth it. The bulk of the data demonstrates that pasteurized milk is very healthy and easily digestible and leads to good uh, health outcomes. Take it from a family with a raw milk nightmare story. It was, you know, hell is putting it mildly. Mary McGonigal Martin was trying to find healthier food for her seven-year-old son, Chris. Internet research led her to raw milk. Three weeks later, Chris was on a ventilator, undergoing kidney dialysis, and had developed pancreatitis. She says it was E. coli from the milk, and it led to two hellish months in the hospital. Chris survived, somehow miraculously, according to his mother, but she spent the 17 years since then warning the world about foodborne illnesses. Here's the thing about raw milk, or just like driving a car and wearing your seatbelt. I could drive my car for a long time and not be in an accident. The same with raw milk. Raw milk is great until it has a pathogen in it. But in an era where soy, almond, and other dairy alternatives eat away at traditional milk's market share, Americans now drinking about 50% less milk than they did in the 70s, many consumers and farmers are glad raw milk is an option again. Noah Pransky is joining us now. It is just so interesting, Noah, because as you point out, there are states who are moving towards the legalization of selling this. Talk about the demand. I mean, you mentioned there are some, like, influencers, et cetera, who, who are talking, who are sort of saying, hey, raw milk's great. I is it a trend? Is it a fad? Or is there some sense from the experts you're talking to that this could last? There definitely seems to be a movement. Uh, you see young people who see it online. You see liberals who are maybe more likely to want uh, natural foods. And you see it also with libertarians who are more likely to say, get government out of regulation. We would just want the choice. And that's what a lot of farmers we spoke to said. They aren't getting into the uh, health debates. They just are happy that the regulation is coming down on a lot of states, you know, more than 30 now across the country. And they say that consumers should have a choice. Consumers can do the research. They can do the choice. The last message from the epidemiologist and uh, pediatrician we spoke to, she said TikTok is great for beauty tips, not so great for health tips. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.